It's kind of cool that I am, you know, doing obstacle course racing as a professional athlete. I've kind of been training for it in the military, like my whole career. I went in at pretty much the earliest age I could when I was living with my uncle. My junior year of high school, I went to basic training. I was in college when 9-11 happened. I, you know, was in the locker room in the cross country team and that hit home. have that feeling inside like you know I want to go get those people who you know, disrupted our freedom you know being in the military someone that you were eating dinner with the night before isn't there the next day like it kind of puts everything else in perspective I mean I'm in the back of my head always thinking you know hey this professional athlete thing might not be <laughs> going on in a year or two or a few months because you never know what could happen like I could get called up tomorrow or the next day you know and then at another war in another country and also, of course, races came from the military. They were, you know, originated from the military. Despite us both being special forces officers, uh, Rob and I first crossed paths for the best range of competition. Once we had an obstacle course racing team, Rob was the first guy I sought out for the team. We talked with some of his commanding officers before, and they all hold him in extremely high regard. I think there's a lot of similarities between training for special forces and in your job and what you do in obstacle course races. When you do an obstacle course, I mean, there's events that are challenging on there, but there's no way to simulate the, the challenges you're going to get in combat. Always having to go through windows, buildings, go through tunnels, carrying weight, because you might have to pull that guy off the battlefield. And that's just the this, this easiest transition that I was able to make in obstacle course racing. You know, I think that is one of the things that kind of helps distinguish me, you know, above other athletes that mental grit and that toughness. For a normal training day, I'm out there, you know, working out one, two, three times a day. There's never an off season for me.